Hi guys, just me. Um, today I'm just going to do a little tea time um, vlog. I've got a little story to tell you. Um, it's a funny story about what happened to me when I was young, young girl. Um, I was about 12 years old at the time, um, just going in for 13. And um, at that time, me and my best friend used to go ice skating every Sunday, we'd go every Sunday afternoon um, and it was the sort of crowd that went there who were teenagers so everyone was feeling um, self-conscious, everyone wanted to look cool as it were um, and it was just it was a really nice time, it was a really nice time of life. Um, anyway this one Sunday uh, my friend and I both uh, I'd managed to get ourselves a new pair of skates each and my friend went for some like racing skate like ice hockey skates and I went for traditional white leather jobbies um which I thought looked really nice um anyway we um what was the usual thing was to do if you if you went ice skating with um, your friend, you just used to hold hands as you went around and you just held each other up um, to save each other's dignity from falling over. So um, me and my best friend, we put our new skates on, we were skating around. We'd, my best friend at the time, her mum did Avon, so we were both dolled up to the nines, uh, face full of makeup, trying to look just like we own the place, basically. And um, anyway, we set off skating, we linked hands, going along and as you went every week you got to find out who the nice looking guys were and everything so you'd be skating along looking out and eyeballing for this whoever it was that you had caught your eye um and this particular sunday there's this this lad was there that i really liked he didn't know i liked him i just used to eyeball him from afar but anyway um so we were skating along they used to play all the chart hits and everything as you're going round I have all the lights on and everything and the skating rink started to get a bit wet and up until then me and my friend had managed to stay upright on our new skates skates that we'd never worn before <laughs> breaking in these new skates um and anyway I went past this chap and I had the um I, I found the courage to to smile at him so as I went by as me and my friend went skating by I just give him a big old cheesy grin and my best come with the look. Um, and then oh, a split second later, the teeth of my new skates hit the ice and I went flying forwards. Well, the normal thing to do if you're falling forwards is to reach out and grab something, isn't it? To try and stop you from falling. Well, my friend let go of my hand in an instant because she wasn't going down. Um, and as I struggled on the ice... Um, I reached out and just grabbed something to try and save my fall, but whatever it was, it didn't save my fall. And I still ended up nose down on the ice. And I shut my eyes as I was falling, so I just thought, oh, I just waited for my head to hit the ice. I shut my eyes. Anyway, I opened my eyes. I was already dying of embarrassment as it was anyway. So I opened my eyes and I looked around. And as I started to pick myself up, um, I noticed loads of, like, pennies and 10p coins and things and bits of tissue and a, and a half-eaten packet of polos on the ice. I thought, they're not mine, where have they come from? Um, and it was only when I started to get up, I realised that my hand was scrunched up like that as though I tried to grab something. And there's a pair of legs in front of me um, and I looked up and there's this girl there who... She looked a bit of a hard case, I'll put it that way, <laughs> right? And as I started to get up, I opened my hand and I've got this piece of fabric in my hand. I thought, where the heck has that come from? Uh, it was lovely navy blue fabric with like flowery pattern on it. I thought, what the heck's that? And there was all fluff on the other side of it, like a filling. I thought, where's that come from? Anyway, as I looked up, this girl, <laughs> she was wearing a really nice navy jacket with flowers on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, because I can still see this in my head. And I still die of embarrassment when I think about it. Um, as I looked up, she's looking down at me there. And this beautiful jacket she's wearing, and it was like a quilted type thing. And it had these wooden toggle fastenings all the way down and lovely patch pockets. Oh, there was only one pocket left on it. 
and a raggedy gaping hole in the walls. I'm sorry guys. And I looked at this piece of fabric and it matched this woman's jacket, this girl's jacket. I thought, no, I haven't. And what happened is, as I put my hands up to save myself, I'd latched onto this poor woman's coat and ripped her pocket off. So I picked all these pennies up, tissues, half a pack of polos, half used lippy in one hand and I'm a I had the pocket in the other hand and as I, I got to my feet, I was on my own by then because my friend had skated off, she was having none of this uh, and I sort of put the tissues and everything in one hand and I put the pocket in her other hand and just said, I'm really, really sorry and I got the biggest mouthful I've ever had in my life I was wet through from head to toe, over mascara had run because I'd gone face down on the wet ice and I just didn't go back on the ice and it took about three weeks before I had the courage to go again because I just couldn't bring myself to go in case this this lad that I'd had my eye on had seen me go face down. So anyway, that's the most embarrassing thing I think that ever happened to me while I was a teenager and which is probably why it's still in my mind now. Um, if you've got any funny stories to share guys I would love to hear them I'm sure I'm not the only one that's nearly died of embarrassment but that's just one of the times I nearly did there are plenty of others anyway since then and I'll share those with you as I remember them but for now babes that's all I've got see, see you soon ta-ta